Today we are here to witness the act of love. Love is the power that has brought Kelly and Jake together. And through that power, we are joining them today. Today's promise becomes a permanent and friends become family. This day is not about the words spoken. It's not about the songs being sung. It's not about the grand procession. It's not about the marches. It is simply about love. This day, Kelly and Jake, you are the love that it's all about. some children Oh, what I love could do Maybe we live in Vegas or a house with picket fancy Oh, what I love could do If I got you, babe You got me There ain't nothing we couldn't be From you Are you? I can be yours. No, you have yep. Yeah, I know, it's okay. Are you have a mic on too? I do, they so can they record can everything. Everything yeah. that they're saying. Absolutely. That's Even my bad jokes. Okay, yeah. we're supposed to get married too. Okay. Oh, what I love could do. Maybe we'll find some best friends or a dog named Fred and Nancy. Oh, what I love could do. If I got you.
this time, let's all rise. And now faith, hope, and love abides, these three, and the greatest of these is love. The wedding ring is a symbol of eternity. It is an outward sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. Because Jake and Kelly have desired each other in marriage and have witnessed this before God in our gathering, affirming their acceptance of the responsibilities of such a union and have pledged their love and their faith to each other, sealing their vows in the giving and receiving of rings, I do proclaim that they are husband and wife in the sight of God and man. Let all people here and everywhere recognize and respect this holy union now and forever. It is my great privilege and honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jake Robinson. Jake, you may kiss your bride. I don't know what to do and you know I think a lot of siblings would just kind of blow you off but not Kelly she was like it's okay like <laughs> I'm sorry. she was like it's okay don't worry like you're gonna have so much fun and she drew me this like 
really detailed hand-drawn map of our high school. It was perfect. It was like perfectly to scale. She was like, here's the football field. Here's where you're going to park. Here's where you're going to sit in the morning. Here's where your class is. Like it was so detailed. It was perfect. I feel like I'll always look at Jake as kind of a chubby little kid who likes to stay inside, likes to watch the History Channel, who really likes Cartoon Network. But uh, he really has grown up a lot in life. And <laughs> maybe not physically, but <laughs> mentally, he's there, he's there. If I ever need anything, I know where I can go. I can go to my older brothers. Jake, I love the way that you love Kelly. You make her so happy. Um, she shared with me once after you all had been dating for a couple months that you told her that you just could never see yourself with anybody else. And after meeting you, getting to know you, and getting to know the two of you together, I can never see her with anyone else either. We'll do a toast to Kelly and Jake. Um, may you guys continue to grow together and as individuals, and I hope you guys have a life full of happiness. Thank you. I appreciate everybody coming out to West Virginia and after this year of being in COVID and uh, not getting to see all the people that we care about just being able to come together. I couldn't believe, you know, when we were planning all this before a vaccine even came out that this could be so wonderful, but I'm just so happy that everyone got to be here and experience this and I, I love Kelly so much. That's all I got.
from Charleston, South Carolina to be with us. And a uh, pretty cool fact, she was married almost to the day at Bree Church back in 1947. So big shout out to Miss Hester.